Okay guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be working on the 87 GMC project. It has a 2017 Ram 5.7 Hemi in it and it's sitting on the Ram chassis. It has the ZFE 8 speed, cut 20 and a half inches out of it and now it's just about ready. Got to finish the paint and body work. Did a pre-paint the other day and there's still a few flaws that we missed the first time. Today we're going to finish up the inner fenders, hopefully get them shod in some self-etch primer and raptor line these things and get the body work finished up on the fenders and get them put on the truck. Back here's the bed, cut the floor out of it and put a wood bed floor in it. Has a custom little, I guess you'd call it wood dividers. Had them powder coated illusion purple and everything. It looked pretty good. Back here's the hood we're gonna put on it. Has a four inch cowl hood. And I guess we're gonna get into welding the inner fenders and get that done. Got the top of that cut off. Cut it down to 18 inches just like the other one over there. And now we gotta make a new top piece and grind this thing down to where we can weld it and ain't got all that carbon on it. Well, I decided I'm just gonna to cut a new piece of metal out of this piece of sheet metal right here. 35 by 11. Ain't too big of a piece, but still messes up this sheet. Was gonna use it to build the dash, but well, got to get the inner fenders done so I can start painting the truck and get it at least somewhat put together so I can start building the dash in it. We're going to just cut that out real quick with the plasma Zeus, lay it up here, mark it out, and make it fit. Got the pasture side inner fender all finished. Worst part is somehow I ended up about three quarters of an inch off. If you look over here, you can see that they're not exactly symmetrical. They're not too bad though. And you won't be able to notice it except for right in here. Then on this side over here, there's a little bit of a mess up, but it ain't too bad. Got to put the cross member up here and in next video I'll spray these with self etch primer, raptor line them and hopefully get to cleaning up some of the wires and get this thing painted. Okay guys, so it's the next day we're gonna get back to trying to clean up this mess of wires and put this cross member up there and go find the little holder that holds the dadgum PCM in there and try to build something to hold that fuse block that's just a mess of wires.
So we got the main part of the wires all sorted out finally, but got to clean the motor up some and the wires look pretty clean. Except for right here where I guess they were cut. I don't remember doing that when I tore the donor vehicle apart, but I might have cut them to speed things up, but I guess I'm going to splice them back together. Don't exactly know where they go though. Got to cut the hole for the wires to go in right in here. Trying to make it look as clean as possible and run them down this fender well right here on the inside. Put the fuse box there and probably got to run the battery cables back all the way to the back of it and put them I'll go right here once the bed's on and I'll probably make a battery box right here so you can open the second gas camp right here because it ain't going to be used for anything and put the dad gum battery in there but I'm going to get all this cleaned up what y'all's guys opinion on this computer here we're going to put it right there thinking about putting this like right there over it and it covers up this place right here and it fits in there pretty good like that and then just bolt the computer in there you don't know if Don't look too bad on that. Actually looks pretty good. Makes the truck look pretty mean. And once it painted everything, it looked better, but 
hinges don't line up like get some light in there hinges ain't exactly lining up like i thought they would i thought i straightened them before i took them off the powder coat but they ain't fitting like they should i apologize if you've made it this far into the video about how much it's bouncing around but I'm about to put the hood on there over there where is it there we go it's over here and either you're about to see me successfully put on a four inch cow hood by myself or drop it you'll find out in the thumbnail probably but over here got the hinges on this side they don't look they look pretty good it took me a lot longer than it should have to figure out which side this one went on because it don't have a left or right should have just looked at it and right there you can tell that it only folds one way but gonna put that side on over there had these things powder coated illusion purple and i mean they're they're pretty i like how they look Hopefully they hold up for hood hinges. Put you guys down somewhere you can see, maybe. Or drop it. You never know. Ooh. Little stiff. Ooh. Yeah. That powder's in the gears in them. See, you get a hit. Oh, oh. Apparently I put them on backwards. It's what it seems. So I have to do this whole process over. I'd say I put them on backwards. Because the hood, oh yeah, I put them on backwards. I don't know how I manage that one, but yeah, because that goes, <laughs> guess that's possible. Okay, now retry. As you can see, I flipped the hinges around don't exactly see how i got them backwards because they do say left and they do say right but they still making noise oh oh i think they on right now they look to be they making a lot of popping noises let's see oh no 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 oh that ain't gonna work yep. that looks terrible just look at that yeah this side right? This side's a heck of a lot closer than that one. I don't exactly know what's pushing it. I'd say it's the back of it because I didn't. Watch that thing just shoot right up there. Yeah. I say it's all it is is right here where this one's not all the way down. Let's fix that real quick. Well, guys, this is going to be about the end of this video. In the next video, we'll do some more work on the truck. Probably get the inner fenders done and some other things like that and maybe get painted see you guys in the next video if you like this content please subscribe and even if you don't like it please subscribe thank you